We are only one day into NCAA tournament play and some brackets are already busted, but that doesn't mean that you can't still throw a bracket bash. So lifestyle expert Matt Simcoe is back to help us throw a slam dunk party. Always a slam dunk when I'm here on the road show. But, but March Madness, I think this is a, a great time that really other people start to get interested in basketball, even if they don't necessarily follow every game. That is that is the thing, and I think even if you're not into March Madness, you'll be into Munch Madness. Ooh. Here is that. Yeah, I'm no. sold. <laughs> I'm in. Plenty so, and plenty of snacks. Couple party tips, basketball themed and otherwise, right? Okay. One of the biggest ones is know where to take help from the store and where to make homemade. Yes. One place to make homemade guacamole, right? I love guac. I know. Isn't this great? So it's a DIY guac bar and nothing Ooh. says party like guacamole to me. So let your guests add as much red um, red onion as they want, tomato, mm -hmm. lime, and a great, this is a lava rock mortar and pestle. I picked it up at World Market. Isn't that cool? And feel how have heavy a that rock is. Right? Mortar and pestle. <laughs> and that they can, That's awesome. your guests can do it as, um, as coarse or as fine as they want for the guacamole. Mm -hmm. But my number one tip, more salt than you think you should have in there because that's what's going to make that avocado taste like guacamole. Interesting. And I like a good squeeze of lime. Don't you? I like some chunks yeah. in a good yeah. guac. I I'm with yeah. you. When it's a little too smooth, I like most things, I like a little chunky, you know? Yeah. Hey, why not? Uh, you need some chips. <laughs> always. So go with the chips, and I always put them a level higher, and I always say about this, mm. so when, you, when you're across the room, you can see if that bowl needs refilling. Um, so if you have good it point. down low, you can't ever tell, and if you're a good host or hostess, you want to make sure your snacks are full at all times. This looks full too, and I'm loving the creativity here. You made your own hoop. Isn't that fun? So this is just a regular kind of trifle dish, or it, you could do an upside down um, cake cake stand as well if you wanted. Yes. You could do concentric circles. They are just clementines, a little sharpie around them to make them look like a basketball. Genius and totally safe too because no one is eating them. You're always peeling Absolutely. the oranges or the clementines. And there are non toxic um, permanent markers as well. And it's that's what we case. use on those. And the basketball net, I mean, that was just five bucks like at the, at the toy store. It's, you it's might super even have easy. a spare one in your garage if you have a hoop at home or something. Absolutely. Repurpose. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't play basketball. I play uh, snacks. No. <laughs> I like to play snacks today yeah. too. That's yeah. fine. What is down here? So this is my riff on sort of a chicken wing, right? Can I it try is, one? You can. They might be cold, but you I can don't try care. one. They look delicious. It is a chicken meatball with buffalo sauce, and then I put a little iceberg lettuce on top because I'm not a celery fan. I'm, I'm not a big fan of celery, but you mm. can put celery on there to mimic like a chicken wing, and then blue cheese or ranch or, or something like that. But This is so good. We had those for dinner last night, actually, while I was prepping them. They're so delicious, Why right? Why not? Because I'm sure the smells and the flavors, everything, you just want to there you go. Right and that's away. a place where you take help from the store. So smart. Pre-made meatballs, some buffalo sauce, and some lettuce. Mm -hmm. Super easy, super quick. And you can make those in batches really easily at a Presentation party. Presentation is great. How about time. some drinks? So uh, one, of the, one of the biggest things at a party is the balance of drink to food, right? You want to make mm -hmm. sure that you're feeding people enough when they're having drinks. So I like to keep them actually on separate sides of the room. Keep huh. the food on one side and the beverages on the other. And that way it's a little bit more time to travel across across the uh, there you go. <laughs> the party Traveling? space. Traveling. Yes, thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, and then I always do a non-alcoholic <laughs> beverage as well. And you can do make it like it a spritzer. Yeah. yeah, make it orange. And the basketball theme here is really just that orangey stuff. You, like cheese balls. Well, too. I mean, these are one of my favorite snacks. I don't know about you. I know you said you're not an athlete, but come on. Oh, you want to see if we can yeah. do this? All right. Oh, oh that's my fault. That's my fault. Can I try fault. and do one of these? Oh, I oh. thought you were going to throw it. <laughs> that could have been deadly. One more. One Let's more. give it one you more try. try it? Yep. Do it up like this. Oh. You, and on, we're going to get one it. One more. Yeah. <laughs> See, you can play sports. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can catch all of the college hoops delicious. action. I know they are. They are. <laughs> right here on WPRN 12 starting today.